Swinburne University of Technology. Hello and welcome to this video where we will show you how to download and use Ecosystem's Personal Capture software. Personal Capture, or PCAP for short, is an extension of the Swin Echo lecture recording system, designed to be used on your desktop or laptop computer. It allows you to record anything on your computer screen, as well as a webcam and microphone input, similar to the way you would record a lecture in a Swin Echo enabled lecture theatre. So let's get started. First, let's download and install the PCAP software. To do this, open a browser and navigate to the Ecosystem server located at echo.swin.edu.au. Log in using your SIMS username and password. Once you've logged in, navigate to the Downloads tab. Click once on the link to download the latest version of the Installer for Ecosystem Personal Capture for Mac OS X and save it on your computer. We will save it to the Downloads folder. After the software has been successfully downloaded, log out of the Ecosystem server and quit your browser. Now, navigate to the location where you saved the downloaded file and double-click it. Next, double-click the Ecosystem Personal Capture Installer, which will install the software. For the software to be installed, you must have administrator access to your computer. If you don't have administrator access, contact the ITS Service Desk on extension 5000 and let them know that you're installing the Ecosystem Personal Capture software on your Mac. Enter the password for your computer to continue the process. Follow the prompts to install the software. On the last installation page, untick the option to launch Personal Capture, then click Finish. You can now double-click the desktop icon to start PCAP. From this screen, click the Start Recording button to start a new recording session. This screen shows you what you will record. Before we start recording this session, let's configure the PCAP software. Click the Configure button to display the configuration page. You can select the audio recording device from the drop-down menu. Next, select the video device. This can be either the desktop, your extended desktop or webcam. We recommend you leave it set to Screen 1, which will be your main screen. We also recommend you leave the video quality set to actual size. The second video device can be selected also from the drop-down menu. In this case, we will select our webcam to make it available for recording. Once you're finished, click the Save button. As you see here, we currently have the screen and microphone ticked. If we wanted to also record the webcam video, tick the box and you will see a live preview. If you choose to record the webcam video, it will appear on the right hand side of the final recording. For this demo, we will record the desktop and microphone only. At this point, you should give your recording a title. Once everything is ready, click the Start Capture button. A window will appear with a countdown to the start of the recording and you will also be shown the keyboard shortcuts to pause or stop the recording. You can now perform the actions you wish to record. When you've finished, you can use either the shortcut keys or you can click on the echo icon at the top of the screen to pause or stop the recording. You will now return to the playback and editing screen where you will see what you've recorded. To remove sections of your recording, move the playhead to the start of what you want to delete 
and press the left triangle to set the in point. Move the playhead to the end of the piece you wish to delete and click the right triangle to set the out point. Now, click the scissor icon to remove the section you've highlighted. Repeat this process until you've removed the unnecessary parts of the video. To finish the editing process, click the Apply Edits button to trim the recording. Your final recording will appear in the list of recordings you've made. Once you're happy with your final recording, you can publish it to your Blackboard unit. Click the Publish Recording button and you will be prompted to log in to the Echo System server. Enter your SIMS username and password. You will then be prompted to select the unit to which you will publish the recording. If you do not see this page and you are taken directly to the Quality Settings page, you will most likely only have access to one unit for which PCAP is linked to in Blackboard. If you see an error indicating that there is nowhere for you to publish, you will need to send an email to the ITS service desk requesting that they make your Blackboard unit link with Swineco. You must tell ITS in your request your name, your Blackboard unit name which you want the recording in, and the semester of your recording. Once you've selected your unit, click Next. On this screen, you can select the quality and type of recording that gets published. We recommend the optimised option to reproduce the best quality. Click Next to continue. On this screen, you can create a new or replace a current recording. In this case, we're creating a new recording. You can also change the presentation date if you wish. Now, click Next. On this screen, you can change the title of the recording if necessary. Finally, click the Publish button to complete the process. You will see a bar indicating the progress of the recording being processed and uploaded to the SWIN Echo server. Once the file has been successfully uploaded, the status of the recording will change to Published. We can now close the PCAP software and we can check Blackboard to see our final recording in Echo Center. Open a browser and log into Blackboard. Click on the unit with the published recording. Remember it can take some time before the recording has been fully processed and uploaded before it will become visible in Blackboard. Click on the Echo Center button and you should see your PCAP recording in the list. Click play to see the video in action. So that's an overview of the personal capture system in action. We hope that you found this video useful and informative and we thank you for your time. This has been a Swinburne production.